One of Subaru's core values is safety and the all-new fifth-generation 2019 Forester is the safest one yet. The Forester SUV has been tested in Japan and results say it's even safer than the outgoing model. Subaru uses its driver assist safety system called EyeSight to help reduce accidents, and it's been proven to reduce rear-end collisions by 80%. The Subaru Forester Touring trim now comes with a new active safety feature called Driver Focus that is designed to prevent distracted driving. The safety system will give the driver feedback and let you know if you are doing any potentially harmful things while behind the wheel. It's like having a buddy in the car to keep an eye on you and give you a little nudge when you need it. But who likes having someone in the car telling them how to drive? No one but having it could save your life. Being distracted while driving is a real thing and can lead to having an accident. Whenever a driver does anything to divert their attention from the road, it's called distracted driving. Doing things like eating, adjusting the climate control, changing the radio station on the infotainment screen, or putting on makeup can all lead to being distracted. Driving while you are fatigued is common on a long road trip or commuting home after a particularly busy day at work. The most dangerous activity done while driving is texting on your cell phone. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the process of sending or reading a text can take a driver's eyes off the road for a full five seconds. If you're traveling at 55 miles per hour, that's the equivalent of driving the length of a football field while wearing a blindfold. The results can be deadly. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports that distracted drivers were involved in 3,450 traffic deaths in 2016. This is why Subaru designed their new Forester with Drive Focus, to help drivers who may be distracted. The vehicle has been equipped with a system that uses facial recognition technology to determine if a driver is fatigued or distracted. It's similar technology used on the new iPhone X and is the first of its kind in the compact SUV segment. The technology is capable of recognizing up to five drivers, and it will also remember each person's preset seating, climate, and infotainment preferences. Here is where you could feel like there is a backseat driver telling you how to drive. Driver Focus will issue a warning if you look away from the road for more than 3 seconds. If this warning goes unheeded, it will slow your new Subaru Forester to a stop. If the driver is completely unresponsive, this technology will use Subaru's Starlink system to contact a live operator for help. We aren't sure how this will work if you are driving on a busy interstate or in heavy stop-and-go traffic and you ignore the warning. The Forester will be brought to a complete stop, and this could cause an accident. Will drivers think this is too intrusive and not want to be warned to look up or else? Subaru says they will offer this technology on other vehicles in their lineup in the future. The new 2019 Subaru Forester Touring Trim is the first to get it. Many SUVs on the road today in the boxy and truck light, but most are actually car-based crossovers. The Nissan Murano has never been bashful about its car DNA. Nissan's 5-seat midsize crossover continues to flaunt its curvaceous styling in slightly updated form at the 2018 Los Angeles Auto Show. The 2019 Nissan Murano doesn't look vastly different from last year's version. Nissan claims to have changed the grille, headlights, and taillights, but the differences are very subtle. Granted, the current generation Murano already had a very extroverted design to begin with. Nissan has always used the Murano as a platform for exterior design experimentation. It even launched a convertible version at one point. Like the 2019 Nissan Maxima sedan, 
which was also unveiled in Los Angeles Auto Show, the Murano gets Nissan Safety Shield 360 bundle of driver aids. Standard on the top Murano Platinum trim level and part of an option package on the Murano SL, Safety Shield 360 includes autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams. The Murano also comes standard with Nissan's rear door alert, which is designed to prevent drivers from leaving children or pets in the back seat unattended. Nissan added semi-aniline leather upholstery to the Murano Platinum, and added different trim piece options on other trim levels, but the overall interior design remains the same. Nissan offers an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as an 11-speaker Bose audio system. No mechanical changes were made, so the 2019 Murano still uses a 3.5-liter V6 producing 260 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque. The V6 is mated to a continuously variable transmission CVT, with standard front-wheel drive or optional all-wheel drive. The 2019 Nissan Murano goes on sale in December 2018. Pricing hasn't been announced yet, but we don't expect a major change from the 2018 model, which starts at $31,000 for a base front-wheel drive S and rises to $44,030 for a top-of-the-line all-wheel drive Platinum. The Murano's current rivals include the Ford Edge and Hyundai Santa Fe, but the Nissan will soon have lots of new competition, including the 2019 Honda Passport, the 2019 Chevrolet Blazer, and a five-seat version of the Volkswagen Atlas. The Ascent is Subaru's largest model ever, offering the seating for up to eight in its practical cabin and plenty of features. It is also the first model to feature a new turbocharged 2.4-liter boxer engine that kicks out 260 horsepower and 277 pounds FT of peak torque. A CVT gearbox is the only option, featuring a manual mode with eight simulated gears that can be operated via the steering wheel mounted paddles. Subaru claims that the Ascent can tow up to 5,000 pounds and offer a driving range of over 500 miles on a full tank of fuel. The cabin is offered in various configurations, among which is a set of captain's chairs in the second row of carrying up to eight people isn't a necessity. The infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen display in more expensive trim levels and comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Practicality features are plenty and include things like four USB ports, 19 cup holders, a three-zone climate control system and more. Standard safety equipment includes automatic pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure and sway warning and pre-collision throttle management, all of which are bundled under Subaru's EyeSight Driver Assist package. Systems like Eye Assist Monitor, Blind Spot Detection with Lane Change Assist and Rear Cross Traffic Alert are optional. Does the Ascent has what it takes to rival models like the Honda Pilot? Suppose you've been kicked out of your apartment because you can't pay the rent. You'll want to own the redesigned, 5th generation 2019 Subaru Forester crossover. Its roof is engineered to hold 700 pounds when parked. Knowing that you can pitch a tent on top of your car means you'll never be homeless. Such engineering isn't unusual for Subaru. It's why all Subarus had all-wheel drive long before it was common. Knowing that you can overcome the worst effects of the polar vortex with ease gives you the sense that Subaru cares. Better yet, should you ever awaken to a massive blizzard, you could arrive to work before your boss, and how impressive is that? You can even amaze your in-laws despite your job's lousy pay. 
They'll be impressed that you're mature enough to buy a Forester with such premium options as heated rear seats, power liftgate, heated steering wheel, rear seat air conditioning vents, rear USB ports, Wi-Fi hotspot, and all-weather package with heated front seats, heated exterior mirrors and windshield de-isser, dual automatic climate control, automatic high beams, steering responsive headlights, remote vehicle start, and Subaru's new driver fatigue system. Like the system introduced by Mercedes-Benz, the vehicle alerts you if it feels you're getting too tired. It's like driving with your mother the car, except your mother probably doesn't drink motor oil. Unfortunately for you, there's enough room for your in-laws to ride along as they berate your pitiful career. Thanks to a 1.1-inch longer wheelbase, there's an additional 1.4 inches of rear seat legroom and a 5-inch wider rear door opening, it's easier for them to come along for the ride. Seats are well bolstered and firm, with good hand and legroom. The driver enjoys a fairly unobstructed view in all directions. Cargo space is a generous 33 cubic feet, and the 51.2-inch tailgate opening is wide enough to fit a 1969 Subaru 360. Of course, you might want to get to your destination quicker, so you don't have to deal with them. Unfortunately, last year's manual transmission and 250 horsepower turbocharged engine is no longer offered. Instead, Foresters get a new version of the 2.5-liter horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine with direct injection and automatic stop-start, generating 182 horsepower through a continuously variable transmission. It can tow up to 1,500 pounds. This means you'll be headed nowhere fast, but there will be forward momentum. Thankfully, the driver-selectable Subaru Intelligent Drive or SI Drive changes the car's throttle response from efficient intelligent mode to a more aggressive sport mode. Forester Sport models have a more aggressive sport short mode, along with more aggressive gearing and a transmission that imitates a 7-speed manual transmission through steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Once you've dropped off your in-laws at Bingo, you'll find the cabin is impressively quiet, and notice because they're gone. However, there will be noise when you floor the throttle, which will be often. Power is acceptable thanks to the attentive CVT that makes the most of what's available. As is typical of CVTs, there's some mild rubber banding in the drive line, but it's not objectionable. Notably, shifting to L makes the engine more responsive, but it runs 1,500 to 2,000 RPMs higher, which hurts fuel economy. Also, there's a lot of initial throttle travel where noticeably more spry especially when the CVT is in 7-speed manual mode. Clearly, the Forester is in no hurry. But neither are most Subaru owners, who treasure their well-being. This is why automatic pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure and sway warning, lane keep assist, pre-collision throttle management and lead vehicle start alert are standard. Reverse automatic braking, blind spot detection, lane change assist, and rear cross-traffic alert are optional. The Forester can be engaging and agile to drive, although the rod is jittery over broken pavement. Body lean is not excessive, making it more adept once the sidewalk ends. But its firm on-road ride becomes punishing off-road, with a surprising lack of bump absorption. Being tech-savvy, you'll scoff at Subaru's pocket-sized standard 6.5-inch multimedia high-resolution touchscreen, but will appreciate the presence of iHa, Pandora, TomTom Tom Navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, dual USB ports and a CD player, which should soothe your in-laws as they play their favorite ABBA CD. Nevertheless, the standard audio system provides astonishingly poor sound. This makes the optional Harman Kardon system and its larger 8-inch screen a must.